What's going on YouTube? It's Dark Lord Destro making another video. As you can see right here on my Facebook page, I changed the name from Lord Destro All Pro Football 2K Roster to Lord Destro Productions. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm now making a lot of videos and stuff, doing more than rosters, so I'm trying to expand the brand, so to speak. So that's why I changed the name to Productions. And I have a logo. I have a lady who's making a logo for me. It should be ready in a few days. I'm going to put that on the page as well. Now, the reason why I made this video is because just in case uh, some of you guys don't follow the simulation for SFL League, um, Cameron Irvine, excuse me, the commissioner who runs the league, he made an announcement this past Saturday or Sunday that he will be expanding his league from eight teams to 12. Which means is which means that there will be uh, four teams available for people to bid on. Um, I'm trying to make a push to get one of those teams. Um, you have to make a proposal. You have to, you know, basically tell your life story. You know, sell yourself. So I get a job interview. Why? Why I feel that I should have an SFL team in the city the city that I want to choose I want to represent is Washington D.C. my mascot will be the Dragons I will refer to them as the D.C. Dragons I originally had them called the DMV Dragons just in case people who live outside of D.C. metropolitan area DMV does not stand for Department of Motor Vehicles it stands for D.C. Northern Virginia mainly the Virginia parts Northern Virginia like Arlington Fairfax County Fredericksburg, you know, people who live in the area know what I'm speaking about. And so I was, you know, set on having DMV Dragons, but talking to TJ tonight, the commissioner of the CAG League, makes sense to call them the DC Dragons because, like I stated already, if I say DMV, majority of people in this country, 99.9% .9 of my viewers look at that, oh, Department of Motor Vehicle Dragons? So, yes, we're going to stick to a DC Dragons. As you can see right now, I'm just uh, playing the game, and I've got different uniform sets. Like I said, it'll be called the DC Dragons. Um, right now, you, the first two uniform sets you've seen are pretty much the Washington Wizards colors, the old colors, back when Michael Jordan and Gilbert Arenas played for them. Um, right now, you see the red, white, black, and gold. These are the colors of the University of Maryland or the state of Maryland's flag. And they're still the dragons, but I'm just trying different uniform concepts. I want to see what's working. Um, I've asked people for their opinions, their ideas, what they think looks better. Um, you know, because it's always good to have a second opinion because you don't know, uh, you know, you don't see everything. And so, nevertheless, I'm making this, uh, you know, I want to make a bid to be a commissioner. I'm sorry, excuse me, an owner of the SFL franchise. And then I will be looking for an offensive coordinator, a defensive coordinator, and a scout. And the requirements of that is, you know, you must have a strong passion for the, not only for the game of football, but in this game, in particular, all pro football 2K8. And you must own a copy of it for either the Xbox or or the PlayStation 3. Um, serious inquiries are only, please. I will be giving you an interview as if I'm at the job. I am a restaurant manager, and I will be giving you an interview as if I'm hiring you for a job, because basically that's what it is. And so, you know, I'm giving you the heads up in case, you know, you might have you know, cold feet, and uh, I don't know. I'm taking this thing very serious. I don't want to lose, and I don't want to fail. And therefore, I will be given a very thorough uh, interview. So, uh, but yeah, this is uh, going on. It's like, like I said, after these jerseys, I've got like uh, green and gold and black uh, replicating the George Mason University Patriots. You know, like I said, just trying to take some team colors from the D.C. Uh, metropolitan area. And uh, so this brings me to my next thing is that I will be hexing one more team, which will be the 93 Chiefs. After that, I will be focusing my time on just promoting SFL 
and try to getting a try getting a, a franchise. I've already spoken to the marketing director here at the campus that I work at, and uh, she will do her best to take some free time to help me out with this process. But she knows I have a passion for this game. She's seen my website. Um, also, I will be making another video showcasing my bid, and I will show why I feel that I'm the right person for SFL. As people already know, I have a strong passion for this game. I spent many nights hexing when people did not teach me or would not show me how to do this. I learned myself and taught myself. And I vowed not to do that to others. So I will make sure I will learn it and master it, then teach some of the people to do the same thing. And that's what I've done with this game. And so that's um, about it. That is what um, my goal is. So when it comes to the hexing, 93 Chiefs, once I finish them and tweak them and put them on the website, I'll be taking a break from hexing. Um, if you want some uh, all-time teams, I would suggest you go to Dollar Jr.'s um, channel or his website or whatever, hook up with him, regardless, and you can get all-time teams. I know BB Highlights is up to something. Now the new editor, with his skills combined, I know he'll have a great roster in store for you. But right now, my focus is all about the SFL, making videos and of course as i'm telling you all this my mind's probably saying yeah right uh dark lord you say you're not gonna hex teams next week you'll probably hex five of them so right now no more hex teams i'm just gonna be strictly focusing on the promoting sfl and getting a franchise to the washington dc area have a good night peace